serving as the mainstay attack cruiser of the Imperial Klingon Defense Forces across the mid to late 24th century. The Vorchar class attack cruiser was initially introduced in the mid 2360s as an elite vessel reserved for use by the Klingon Chancellor and other high ranking military officials, but the ship's popularity and relative ease of construction allowed it to quickly gain ubiquity within the Klingon fleet. At a length of 481.32 meters and a width of 341.76 meters, the Vorchar presents a simple and aggressive space frame that modernizes and improves upon many of the design principles seen in the earlier Katinga and D7 classes, carrying a crew of 1,900 warriors within its sturdy frame and able to reach impressive impulse speeds for its size. Even a single Vorchar class vessel could project considerable influence over a solar system in the name of the Klingon Empire. Like most Klingon vessels, the Vorchar carries a predominantly bow-oriented arsenal of weapons, featuring 18 disruptor cannons, each capable of both pulsed and continuous firing, as well as a nose-mounted super-heavy disruptor and three photon torpedo launchers. Though the vessel's shields and armor could not match those of the Romulan Dideridex class, they were extremely impressive for a more moderately sized and agile warship, and these traits became only more advantageous as the Vorchar transitioned into a more widespread medium cruiser role. In the mid-24th century, the age of the Bird of Prey was at its apex within the Empire, and as a result, battlecruisers and other large vessels had become relatively unpopular among Klingon commanders. To this end, the Vorcha was designed to maintain this philosophy of fast attack tactics, even in a larger vessel. The ship is capable of impressive acceleration, and can even briefly keep pace with Brel-class birds of prey when employing wolf pack tactics or pursuing fleeing opponents. Like almost every Klingon warship class, the Vorcha is equipped with a cloaking device that allows the vessel to shield itself from both visual and technological detection. Using this device, ships of the Vorcha class will often lie in wait to catch unsuspecting vessels in a lethal hail of fire, often being able to cripple an unaware target completely with a single well-placed burst. The cloaking device must be disabled in order for the Vorchar to fire its weapons, but its utility extends beyond direct combat applications, as the device allows Klingon battle groups to hide their numbers from enemy surveillance, perhaps even deliberately decloaking small parts of a fleet for brief moments to mislead observers on the true strength of their forces. By the late 24th century, the elite flagship role for which the Vorchar was originally built was now being filled by the fearsome Negvar class battlecruiser, but the Vorchar remained the preeminent medium cruiser in use by the KDF. The ship saw near constant action across the Federation Klingon War of 2372, as well as the full length of the Dominion War, with ships of the class making vital contributions to the first and second battles of Chintoka, as well as the climactic battle of Cardassia Prime. Remaining in limited service even into the early 25th century, the Vorchar class continues to represent one of the great modern accomplishments of Imperial Klingon shipbuilding, and remains a grim sight to all those who would dare oppose the sons and daughters of Kalis. Thank you for watching Space Dock. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please do check out the links on the screen right now or in the description below for our Patreon and channel membership services. Anything you can pledge goes towards improving our team and our equipment and allowing us to put together bigger and more exciting video projects for you guys on the channel.